Hello viewers, welcome to K-Diagnostics, Dio here. Today we have a 2008 Dodge Sprinter with a 3.0 liter. The complaint on this vehicle is that the check engine light remains on while the engine is running. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to confirm the customer's complaint. After confirming the customer's complaint, then we'll connect the scan tool to the vehicle to see what kind of trouble codes we have in memory. So now let's confirm the customer's complaint. Alright, so we're going to confirm the customer's complaint. We're going to start the engine. So the customer is complaining about this light over here. The check engine light remains on while the engine is running. So I'm going to start the engine. So right there, as you can see, the engine is running and the check engine light remained on. The glow plug light also remained on. So right there. So customer's complaint confirmed. So now let's connect the scan tool to the vehicle to see what kind of trouble codes we have in memory. So now let's turn the key on. So I'll bring the scan tool up so we can see what kind of trouble codes we have in the engine computer. All right, so we have 10 trouble codes in the engine computer and we have one trouble code in the transmission control unit. Torque converter temperature too high Oh, Ivan, you know what? So, there is Ivan sitting next to me. So, we have 10 trouble codes in the engine computer. So, let's go to control unit. So, let's go to power train. Let's go to ECM. So, we're just going to read the codes out of the engine computer. And we have 10 of them. But, we have all these trouble codes because some of the trouble codes that we have here are the ones that are created because I made these trouble codes to set like this mass airflow sensor plus trouble code because I disconnected these sensors yesterday okay. when I was checking the filter so we're gonna ignore these these last two trouble codes and this one also this air induction pressure sensor in this video we're gonna address this here a plug trouble code first so this P2134 P2138 and P2133. So we have four, well, yeah, four glow plugs that are not working. So we have plug two, one, three, and six. So plug, so the plug on cylinder two, six, one, and three apparently are not working. So now what we need to do is while testing the glow plugs is pretty much really straightforward and easy to do because we use glow plugs in diesel engines to preheat the air mixture inside the combustion chamber to facilitate the combustion event inside the engine so if these glow plugs are not getting hot or if they're not glowing or if we have and this can be caused by a couple of things if the glow, the glow plugs are not getting voltage this could be caused by you know an open wire or maybe just a defective glow plug itself because I noticed when I was starting the engine the glow plug light remained on a little bit longer so I don't know if it's gonna go off now but when I first started it the glow plug light came back on so which kind of told me that there's a problem in the glow plug circuit so now what we need to do is we have to make sure that these glow plugs are getting power because there are four I mean there's there are four glow plugs trouble codes in the engine computer so we're gonna address the glow plug trouble codes in this video first and then after doing that we're gonna erase all these trouble codes and then we'll see what trouble code will come back first whatever trouble code that comes back after addressing this uh, glow plug trouble codes then we'll go after that so now what we need to do is we have to look at the wiring diagram and see how these glow plugs are wired and then after we know how these glow plugs are wired then we'll go under the hood so we can do some tests at the glow plug control module i believe on this vehicle we, they call it a glow plug control module not a glow plug relay so we're going to do the tests there or we can just go straight to the glow plug itself, disconnect it, and then we'll use some bidirectional controls on the scan tool to check the wiring of the glow plugs. If the wiring is good, then we will just replace the glow plugs. So now let's look at the wiring diagram for the glow plug system. 
All right, so we're gonna look up the wiring diagram for this glow plug system. So let's go to engine performance. And this is a 3.0 liter. So here is our glow plugs. And this here is the glow plug control module. I'm sorry for the glare guys. So basically how these glow plug work is the glow plug are grounded on the cylinder head and the module sends power to each glow plug. So this wire here there is so there's 12 volt that flows down this wire. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to go to each individual glow plug and test them. We will use a test light to bypass these glow plugs. I don't believe we have a glow plug control module issue because if you have a defective glow plug control module usually a defective glow plug control module will affect all the glow plugs. If we had six trouble codes about all these glow plugs I was gonna test the glow plug control module first but since there are only four trouble codes for four different glow plugs I'm sure we have defective glow plugs or, or maybe there's an open in the wiring. So now what we need to do is we have to go under the hood and bypass these glow plugs with the test light. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect our test light to ground and this glow plug wire and we will use our bidirectional controls on the, on the scan tool to turn on the glow plugs. Once we turn on the glow plugs, if the wiring is good, the test light should light. And if the test light lights, that will tell me that the wiring is good. Then the issue will just be the glow plug itself. Okay, so I'm not going to test the module because we only have trouble codes for, for four glow plugs. And after testing these glow plugs or testing the wiring, if we don't have power here, then we will work our way back to the module. And the module has one ground wire so there's this wire right over here this brown wire is the ground supply to the module and then this wire over here is the power supply wire this one supplies power to the module with the key on and this is a communication wire and then this over here this red wire is a permanent 12 volt supply wire as you can see it says starting slash charging system so this wire here has 12 volts all the time okay but we're gonna check these wires if we don't have 12 volts at each glow plug so now let's go under the hood and test the glow plug circuit all right so I'm gonna show you the codes just one more time before we go under the hood so we are tackling these trouble codes here this P2134 P2138 P2133 and P2135 so we have the hero plug two, six, one, and three. So glow plug two, six, one, and three. So these here are the ones that we're gonna test. So now let's go under the hood. All right, so we're here under the hood. Ivan is here with us. Ivan, thanks for being here with us. So Ivan will start taking all the stuff apart. We have to remove the air filter box first. You can just pull that down. Yeah, there you go. All right, so that little plastic tube just pulls up. Yeah, you just pull it up and slide it back. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. Come on, wiggle, wiggle. Come there on, Mr. Go. Wiggles. So now he's just gonna pull the air filter box up. There you go. And here comes the air filter box. Awesome. All right, so now we're gonna remove these plastic covers that cover the valve covers. 
So Ivan is now removing these little plastic torque screws to remove this plastic cover. Yeah. These pop up? Yeah, they just they, pop up. They don't come all the way out? No, there you go. Okay. They're just like little tiny plastic holders. Yeah, there you go. Same thing on that one over there. There you go. Now you can lift and then slide it out. The one that you miss? No, you didn't. Yeah. yeah, lift and slide it out. I think this one is not released all the way. There you go. So Ivan is gonna remove the turbo inlet tube. Take the whole thing out, or just yeah, you can. Yeah, let's remove. Let's take the whole thing out. Push it out of the way. Awesome. So that's out of the way. <laughs> and here is our glow plug relay. Mm -hmm. This here is the glow plug relay. Well, they call it glow plug module. This is the glow plug module. And our glow plugs are over here. There's a glow plug here and another one down there. So what we need to do is we have to remove these plastic covers. So we'll get these plastic covers removed so we can get access to the glow plugs. So Ivan wants to start by starting here so he's gonna start with this side the driver side we have to remove this silencer so we can get access to this cover so Ivan is gonna remove this silencer here so what this does it just dampens the sound of the turbo so we're gonna remove this box so that we can get access to the valve cover so basically we're gonna remove this bolt we're gonna remove this bolt this one and then this bolt up here and then there's another bolt back here basically these same bolts on this side so the ones on this side here back here so that's what Ivan is removing and then we're gonna remove this little clip that holds the silencer onto the bottom pipe so we'll remove all these bolts and then the silencer is gonna come out out you want to grab a magnet or oh, you got Bam. it perfect there it comes there you go it's tight in there Joe. This stuff is so weird, huh? Like, weird? What do you like mean? My tools, like, I'll try to take it off, mm -hmm. but using the ratchet will actually just spin it. All right, so we got this holding screw out. So now this retainer is, is going to slide out. There we go. So we got that removed. Okay. So that one over there. Alright, so after removing all these bolts, this silencer should be able to come out. So if you just wiggle it, yeah. Hi. Now you're gonna have three. to lift it up. There you go. There you go. So there it comes. Now there should be a, a, a gasket or a seal. Yeah, oh. a little green one. Let me, let me see it. Yeah, so, okay. So this green o-ring goes over here on the turbo. And sometimes it falls, so it's always good to make sure that it's right there in place. Okay, so that's good. We got that out of the way. So what we can start by doing is we can start with the glow plugs on the driver's side first. So I know it's not gonna be a lot of fun. So we can get this harness out of the way and here is the glow plug on the driver's side. 
So do you see this thing over here, Ivan? That's the glow box. Right yeah, there. that one. Yeah. So let me show everyone here what we're doing. So there is the glow plug. And then there's another one over here. Let me see the light here. So here's the second one. That's the glow plug plug. And then the third one is back there, okay? So now what we need to do is we're gonna have to test this one first. But I know only glow plug six, one, two, and three had a trouble code. So those are the ones that were not working. So now I'm gonna look at our firing order so we can see which ones. I mean, we're gonna end up replacing all of them, but I just wanna test the ones that are not working, the ones that are causing the check engine light to be on. We're gonna test those first and then we will replace the rest of them. Let me look up the uh, firing order so we can know what cylinder is what, and then we'll go from there. So let's look at the firing order before we start testing these glow plugs. All right, so we're back here at service information. So we're gonna look up our firing order. And here is our engine, so 3.0 liter, okay? And it looks like cylinder number one, so this is the front. It looks like cylinder number one is the first cylinder on the passenger side. So one, two, and three are on the passenger side, okay? So, I mean, this is the two point this is a 2.3, but they have the same cylinder layout. So here is the 3.0 liter. So cylinder one is on the passenger side. So one, two, three, and then four, five, six. So on the passenger side, we have one, two, three. And then on the driver's side, we have four, five, six. And we have four trouble codes. So the glow plug on cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder three, and then cylinder six. So we will test these first, but we will end up replacing all the glow plugs. If it just ends up being a glow plug problem. We could have a wiring problem, but I think we just have defective glow plugs. So we're gonna go under the hood and test this glow plug. We're gonna test the first glow plug and then the second glow plug. So the first one on the passenger side, the second one on the passenger side, and the third one on the passenger side. So let's go under the hood and do these tests. We are back here under the hood. Our cylinders are one, two, three. So this is the passenger side bank. So cylinder one is the first cylinder just right here in front of the vehicle. So one, two, three, five. Oh, no, no, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's remove this plastic cover so that we can test the first three glow plugs. Oh, you already got it loose. Oh yeah, you're ahead of the game. Now I think, yeah, we gotta twist that. Uh, perfecto. Okay, so now we can remove the plastic cover. This plastic cover just pops up. There you go. There you go. It's super tangled. We have to move it, remove it all the way? Um, maybe mean? not. Maybe we don't have to remove it all the way. Let's just, let's just push it up here. Yeah. That should be good enough. We don't have to remove it all the way. So, our first glow plug is down over here. So we're gonna have to undo this. Let's undo this bolt. So this will get this fuel return line out of the way. And then we'll get access to the first glow plug. Mm, look how nice this is. The Just, valve cover. Just want to replace that? Clean. Ooh. Yeah. Someone, nobody has ever been there. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna, just gonna lift this. Let's get this out of the way. Hold on, let me see. Yeah. There we go. That's good. Now here is our glow plug. So the glow plug is right over here. So this is the first glow plug. So we're gonna press and pull up on the connector. So right there. Mm. Here is the connector of the first glow plug. So you just pretty much pull it up. And here is the glow plug itself. Okay, so we're gonna test this first glow plug. And then once we do all the testing at the first glow plug, it's the same with the rest of them. We're not gonna film 
testing all the glow plugs. We're just gonna do the testing at the first glow plug and then we'll do the rest of them off camera. So what we need to do now is we have to make sure that the glow plug module, which is this guy over here, is sending power to the glow plug. The glow plugs are grounded through the cylinder head, so there should be power on this wire. Now, we have to test the wire first before we test the glow plug. So now what we need to do is we have to make sure there's 12 volts coming at this glow plug electrical connector. So we're gonna use a test light to bypass the glow plug. So now what we need to do is we have to get a test light. So here is our test light. So let's get that. So let's connect our test light to ground right over there on the frame. Okay. So our test light is connected to ground and then we're gonna attach the other side of the test light to this connector here of the glow plug. So now we can either go inside the vehicle and cycle the key. When you first cycle the key, the glow plugs get energized for the first few seconds. When you once you cycle the key, we should see this light illuminate. So this light should come on. We can do that or we can just use our scan tool and use the bidirectional controls to turn on the glow plug. So I'll bring the scan tool up here so we can turn on the glow plug circuit. All right, so before we do that, Ivan brought up a very good point. We have to test our, our test light first. So let's make sure the test light is working. So the test light is connected to ground. He's going to attach it on, the, on this power post right there. And as you can see, the test light is lit. So our test light works. So now we can connect it to the glow plug electrical connector. So now I'll bring up the scan tool so that we can test the glow plug wire. All right, so we got our scan tool here. So now we're gonna test the glow plug wire, okay? So we're gonna back out of this uh, trouble code section. Actually, let's just go to active codes. And the scan tool will allow us to turn on the glow plug system. You see how it says glow plugs here? So we're gonna click on glow plugs. No, I don't want to see the data. So let's go no. So start glow. So we're gonna turn on the glow plugs. Oh, hold on, is the key on? Oh, right there, the key is not on. So can you turn on the key, please? Actually, right there, as you as you are turning on the key, the light just came on. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. And eventually, the light will go off. And this is staying on long enough because the module is actually detecting an open, okay? Because there's no current flow. The module monitors the current flow across the glow plug. And as you can see right now, the light just went off. If you cycle the key one more time, the light will come back on. Do you wanna cycle the key? Actually, we don't even have to use this bi-directional test. Just cycle the key, the light will come on again. Okay, cycle the key. So right there, the light came on. Perfect. Key on. So right here, with the key on, test light connected to ground, we have power at the glow plug electrical connector. So that's good, Ivan. You can turn the key off. So our wiring from the module up to the glow plug is good. And we're gonna do the same thing on all the glow plugs. We are gonna have to test the wiring on all the glow plugs. Because if you have a glow plug code, I mean, this is a very simple circuit. Usually it's either the glow plug itself or the module or an open wire between the module and the glow plug. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. Okay, awesome. So now, now that we have determined that there's power coming at the glow plug electrical connector, so we can get this test light out of here. And now we can remove this glow plug. Actually, there should be ground on the glow plug. All right, so we're gonna test this glow plug. We're gonna make sure that the glow plug is not open. So I'm gonna attach this 
ground side of the test light on the glow plug here. So I'm touching that and Ivan is touching the other side of the test light to battery positive. And if the glow plug wasn't open, the test light should have lit. And as you can see, the test light is off, or it should have actually, the test light should glow. But as you can see, the test light is not lit, so we have an open glow plug. So that's good. We're gonna do the same process on all of them so we can make sure that we don't have an open wire. The issue is just the glow plug itself. Actually, we don't even need this scan tool. Let's get the scan tool out of here. We determined that this glow plug is open, but I wanna do another test with the lab scope because we're gonna do a current flow test with the lab scope. So if you have an open glow plug, the glow plug is not grounded. So when the glow plug module sends power to the glow plug, well, there won't be any current flow. So nothing is gonna happen across the lab scope screen. So if you see that, that will tell you that that specific cylinder or the glow plug is defective and that can be caused by either an open wire or an open glow plug. So we're gonna start with this glow plug over here first. So we're gonna, remember this is the one we were testing, so I'm gonna reconnect it. So that's connected. So now what we need to do is we're gonna clamp our amp clamp around the glow plug wire. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our lab scope. So we're gonna go to scope multimeter. And let's set up the lab scope. We're just gonna use one channel. So we're gonna turn on the first channel. Let's be on the amperage scale. No amperage. So right there. And as you can see right now, there's a flat line, right? Mm -hmm. So why not energize the glow plug system? Mm -hmm. There's power coming from the module to the glow plug. Since the glow plug is grounded, the glow plug is gonna get, it's gonna start to glow. It's gonna start to heat up, right? Yeah. So there will be current flow across the glow plug. And we should, see, we should see a rise on this line here across the screen. If we don't see the rise, it means the glow plug is open. We will know the glow plug is open because we tested the wire. Right. There was 12 volt on the wire, right? Right. So we can do this by just going inside the vehicle and turning the key to the on position, or we can use the scan tool. I'm gonna use the bi-directional control test on the scan tool so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna bring up the second scan tool here. So I'll put this scan tool over here. So I'm gonna be turning the glow plugs on Okay, so let's go. So we're using the bi-directional control test on this scan tool to turn on the glow plug circuit. So let's go to glow plug. And the key is on inside the vehicle. And as you can see, we have a flat line on the lab scope. So let's go to start glow. right here actual is running so and as you can see nothing is happening on the lab scope so I'm energizing the glow plug system right now and nothing is happening well we got nothing on this screen because this glow plug is open so there's no current flow so now let's back out of here and remember we had two let me get this out of the way. So remember, we had four trouble codes for glow plug one, two, three, and six. So glow plug four and five should be good because we don't have trouble codes for these two glow plugs here. So now we're gonna move our amp clamp to our fourth glow plug, which is a good one. Mm -hmm. And if that, if that glow plug is good, we should see a current rise on the screen. So I'm gonna move the amp clamp to the fourth glow plug. So right over here is our glow plug electrical connector. And then this wire here is the glow plug wire, this one. This wire goes to the glow plug. So I'm gonna clamp our amp clamp around this wire. 
So now we are still going to use our bidirectional controls on this scan tool to turn on the glow plug circuit. So we're going to turn these glow plugs on. We got zero on the screen. So now I'm going to redo the same test again. What do you see on the screen right now? It's moving. You see? So we have current flow on the screen because the glow plug, that glow plug is good. And as you can see, so now the, the module has shut down the glow plug circuit and we went down to zero, zero amps. Right. So now when I turn it on, so let's go to glow. You see right there. So we have current flow on this glow plug. So this glow plug here, the fourth glow plug is good. That's why we don't have a trouble code for this glow plug because the glow plug is good. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you. And then this is good to do if, I mean, this is actually one of the best tests you can do because it shows you which glow plug is bad. But if you don't have these tools, you can still use a test light to do so. And I'm sure if we disconnect the glow plug, if we connect one side of the test light to the glow plug and the other side of the test light to battery positive, the test light is, I mean, the test light is going to glow or it's going to light. Yeah. So, awesome. So basically now what we need to do is we have determined that we have four open glow plugs on this engine. We're going to replace them and then we'll bring you guys back up once we get all the glow plugs replaced. All right, so Ivan is getting ready to remove that glow plug. Let me show the, the part number for this new glow plug first. So here's the part number. I don't know which one is the part number. I don't know if it's this one or this one. So genuine parts from Dodge. So I believe this is the part number or maybe this one. I don't know. All right, so let's remove this glow plug. On it, yeah. Bam. Easy. Bam. There you go. It was, it was pretty tight. Yeah, I don't want to break it. <laughs> tight and then hard, and loose. Well, now I think it's just your socket touching the. Uh... Now I try to remove it. There you go. All right, so here comes our glow plug. So right there. Okay, so that's the old glow plug right there. Let's look at it. So this glow plug here is open. Okay, so now let's install the new glow plug. So here you are. And this is the one that we just tested on the first cylinder. So let me show you the glow plug hole. So right there is the hole of the glow plug. All right, so there is the new one. So let's install the new glow plug. Bam. All right, so that's tight. You can remove the tool. So the torque spec for the glow plugs is 15 foot pound. So here is the new glow plug installed. All right, so I hope I can show it to you. So right there, this is the glow plug. So now we're gonna reinstall this electrical connector. Actually, before we move on to the next one, remember when we use our lab scope, nothing happened when we had our amp clamp clamped around this wire. So I'm going to bring up our lab scope, we're going to clamp it around this electrical connector and then with the key on, we should see current flow at this glow plug. So I'll bring the lab scope so we can test this glow plug now. And this is the new glow plug, so we should have current flow at this cylinder and this is cylinder number one. So I'll bring the lab scope and then I'll bring you guys back up. Alright, so I'm going to clamp our amp clamp around this wire. Okay, so the amp clamp is clamped around the wire. Remember, nothing was happening on this glow plug. 
So I'm going to bring up our scan tool here so we can use our bidirectional controls. Do you mind turning on the key for me? Let's make sure the key is on. All right, so the key is on. With the key on, as you can see right now, we have current flow at this glow plug. Actually, we don't even have to use the scan tool, so right there. So right now, the glow plug is heating up. You see we have current flow. And this is pulse width modulated by the control module. So it's turning it on and off, so it's going like this. On, off, on, off, on, so you see now it's off. So if you cycle the key, it's gonna go on again. Okay, so that's good. This glow plug is good. The issue was a defective glow plug on this cylinder. So we're gonna remove the rest of the glow plugs. I mean, the, the fourth glow plug and the fifth glow plug is good, but what do you think, Ivan? Should we just replace all of them? Since we're here. Might Since as well. we're here, we yeah. might as well. Okay, so we'll replace all the glow plugs and then we'll bring you guys back up so we can put the rest of the stuff back together and then we'll wrap up this video because it's the same process on every single glow plug. We have to get to each connector, disconnect it, and then remove the glow plug. I mean, we can still test the wiring. You know, we can test the wiring for the next glow plug. We can remove the wire from the glow plug and use a test light to make sure that there's power at the glow plug wire. But I don't think we have a wiring issue here. We just have a glow plug issue. So these glow plugs here are open. So we'll get all the glow plugs replaced and then we'll bring you guys back up. Actually, before we continue and put everything back together, I'm going to test the new glow plug with a test light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect one side of the test light to the tip of the glow plug and then the other side of the test light will be connected to battery positive. If the glow plug is good, my test light should light. Remember we did the same test with the old glow plug and the test light did not light. The test light didn't light because the glow plug was open. The glow plug is constantly grounded through the cylinder head. Since the glow plug is constantly grounded, if you connect the tip of the glow plug to a test light, and then you use the other side of the test light, if you connect the other side of the test light to battery positive, the test light should light. So here is our glow plug. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this alligator clamp here from my test light to the tip of the glow plug. So right there, I hope you can see that. Okay, so this is connected to the tip of the glow plug. Okay, so it's not touching ground. Let's make sure it's not touching the ground there. So that's connected to the tip of the glow plug. I hope you can see. Okay, so now what we need to do is we have to connect the other side of the test light to battery positive. That's connected there. So now there's battery positive on this on this jumping point. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, instead of connecting this side to the glow plug, I'm going to connect this side to this jumping point here. I'll, I'll get this connected, and then we're gonna attach this side of the test light to the glow plug. All right, so I got my test light connected to battery positive. If my test light is good, once I touch ground, my test light should light. So I'm gonna touch ground, and as you can see, my test light is lit, so this is good. So now we're gonna test our glow plug. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this side of the test light to the glow plug. So, and if the glow plug is good, our test light should light. So the tip of the test light is gonna go on the glow plug, so right there. So right there, as you can see, the test light is lit. Okay, so now we have confirmed that this glow plug is good. Remember when we did this before with the old glow plug, our test light couldn't light. So this glow plug here is not open. This is a good glow plug. As you can see, our test light lights. So this is good. At this point, we can put everything back together. I mean, this test wasn't really important because we already tested this glow plug with a lab scope, but I wanted to do this for some of you that do not have lab scopes, if you don't have a lab scope, you can still use a test light to test a glow plug. So 
I'm gonna put everything back together. We will get everything back together and then I'll bring you guys back up so we can erase the trouble codes and then wrap up the video. All right, so we got all the glow plugs replaced. Ivan, can we see the old ones? Where mm -hmm. did we put the old ones? All right, so here are the old glow plugs. So right there, all six of them, right? Yep. So these are the old, look at this one. Super burnt. Look how bad this one looks. All right, so now Ivan basically replaced all the glow plugs. I was gonna say spark plugs. So we replaced all the glow plugs and now we're gonna put everything back together. I'm trying to show you the electrical connector of the glow plug. So there is one, there's another one down here and then another one back there. Okay, so now, now that we got all of them replaced, we can put everything back together now. So this cover just goes down. Yep. Bam, bam, bam. Right? Yeah. Yep. So Ivan is going to install this silencer. Okay, we can lift this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Easy peasy. No? Mm hmm. Push it in. Oy. There you go. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then retainer clip. Yeah. So at this point, what Ivan is doing is we are just putting everything back together. And putting everything back together is the, rever the reverse process of the removal process. So I uh, maybe I need to push this down. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. So we got everything back together. So now we're gonna go inside the van and connect the scan tool to the van and erase all the trouble codes. So we are inside the vehicle. I'm gonna turn the key to the on position so that we can erase the trouble codes. So as you can see, the key is on. So I'm gonna bring up the scan tool here and let's go to diagnose. So this is a Dodge. I mean, it's a Mercedes slash Dodge Sprinter. So let's, so the scan tool is done scanning all the control modules. So now let's do a quick erase. So this is gonna erase all the trouble codes on these different control modules. All right, so the trouble codes are erased. So let's list these control units. As you can see, all the trouble codes have been erased and there's no trouble code in the engine computer. So let's click on this arrow to enter inside the engine computer. So we are inside the engine control module right now. So let's click on trouble codes. And as you can see, we don't have any trouble codes in the engine control module. So now I'm gonna start the van. With the van running, the check engine light should be off. So right there, all right guys, as you can hear, the engine is running and the check engine light is no longer remaining on on the dash, okay? So this is fixed. At this point, what we need to do is we have to take the vehicle on a test drive to see if the check engine light will come back on. But we had tested the glow plugs before and after the repair. We noticed that we had four glow plugs that were not working. So four glow plugs were open. 
and we replaced them with new ones actually we replaced all six of them and now everything is fine all the glow plugs are working so I don't need to take this on a test drive I'm sure this is fixed the check engine light is not gonna come back on unless it comes back on for something else but it's not gonna come back on for the glow plugs because we tested the wiring we tested the glow plugs themselves we replaced them with new ones so this is fixed I'm going to turn off the engine so we can wrap up this video so just like I said I don't need to take this on a test drive because we checked the glow plugs four glow plugs were not working we tested them with a test light first I like testing these glow plugs with a test light because that's a quick test you can do just using a simple test light you connect your test light to battery positive and then you touch the other side of the test light to the tip of the glow plug since the glow plug is grounded through the, the cylinder head your test light should light if your test light doesn't light then you will know that the glow plug is open so that will tell you that the glow plug is open so it's as simple as that and as we did those tests there were four glow plugs that were open and the rest of them the other two were good so now we replaced all the glow plugs and everything is good and we were getting power to the other glow plug so the wiring was good because every time we turned the key on there was power going to the glow plug okay so that was a pretty quick and simple one so I'm gonna leave it right over here I hope you like this video if you do like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumb down but if you do give it a thumb down you have to tell me why so we can make better videos in the future if this is your first time here subscribe to the channel ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video if you have any comments questions criticism leave them in the comment box thanks for watching guys see you next time